Hi everyone and welcome back to the Flobonacci channel. My name is Fabio and I'm here to share my passion for dragon stuff with you. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a stylish version of the Minimal Steve. Here we go. This version of the Minimal Steve is quite easy to be done from my point of view because it has a lot of common points with the Superman move that most of you already know. You're going to start by learning this move. Let's break it down you probably notice that a body rotation is involved in this move. I'm starting like this and finishing here. So the feet placements, leg placements, are very important. I'm going to rotate in front of the camera. So choose a side, this one. If I'm turning this side, I want my hips to be open in the direction I'm going to turn. If I have this leg in front of me, I can turn my hips. Might seem obvious, but I have to say it. <laughs> so open, keep your hips opened in the direction you want to turn. So I want to be here. Feet in front of me, left foot in front of me. I'm going to have my dragon rolling towards me and rolling away. This is the first thing, fit placement. Second thing, you're going to have your dragon stuff rolling over your head like a Superman. And when you will have your dragon stuff in contact with your neck, you're going to turn and have it on your arms again. Arms rolling towards me. Neck turning. And here, there is a secret. When you have your dragon staff rolling towards you, you don't want the center aligned with your center line. You want the center off-centered in the direction, in the side, you're going to turn. If I'm turning that way, I want my center here. So, off-center. Turning. And here, again, off-center. If you don't do that, if you keep the center in line with your center line, this thing might happen. So remember, if I'm turning on this side, I want the center of my dragon this side. Ooh. Got it? So you will start practicing this move until you get a nice and smooth rotation of your body. Remember the center trick of center on your rotation side.
practice this until you're comfortable. Something important. On my Patreon, for just 3 euros a month, you can support the creation of regular, quality Dragon Staff content. And for 12 euros, gain exclusive access to the freshest tutorials, receiving them one year before they're released on YouTube. If Patreon aligns with your budget, your support would mean a lot. Thank you. Let's take a look on the arms movement. The dragon staff is rolling towards me, over my head, contact point with my neck. My arms are getting down. I'm turning up, stop. Rolling towards me, over my head, contact point with my neck. And now let's make it a continuous move. To, to get a continuous move, you will have to involve a throw and a flat rotation in the air. In this way, you will have your dragon staff rolling away, throw 180 degree in the air, rolling towards you. Rolling away, throw, flat rotation, rolling towards me. It's important that you get a flat rotation, not a vertical. You will see why later. So focus on having a flat rotation in the air. Rolling away, throw, flat rotation, towards. Ooh, very windy today. You got it. And don't forget the first tip with the off-centered center. So when you throw in the air, land, you will get more or less your center in the middle. Don't forget while it's rolling towards you to off-center. Off center. Off center. And let's move on. And now let's bring some style. The first thing you're going to do is that after your dragon has passed over your neck, instead of going in a straight line, like we were doing before, we 
you're going to do a 90 degrees. That means instead of going directly here, it's going to come from that direction, 90 degrees going to the camera. There's a little feeling to get. Practice just without the throw, rolling toward. There's a little push to give with the shoulder just before turning. Here, when I'm here, I'm going to rotate my shoulder to change the direction. Here, I'm going to give a rotation of my shoulders and turn. And to make it continuous, you just have to add this throw flat rotation in the air. How does it come? Remember, neck rotation 90 degrees. Here, I want to turn on my left to be in the starting position to have it rolling towards me. So when it comes this way, turning, have it in front of me, and I'm going to use this rotation to throw it in the air. So you get the rotation, you will have to throw it in the air. Again, towards me, 90 degrees. I'm turning on my right, I throw on my right. And you can feel that there's a little groove coming in. It's getting more and more fluid. Relax your shoulders. And enjoy.
Woohoo! And you got it. And the ultimate touch will be to free your feet and allow yourself to dance. So um, before you were having your feet anchored in the ground, not moving, just rotating. I'm going to make you a little de demonstration to offer some possibilities. Here we go. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope that you will enjoy practicing this move. Simple move, but with little touch, you can really make it groovy and different and very personal. So make it yours and enjoy. I wanted to mention that this Dragon Staff is a Flobonacci original. This is the first Dragon Staff head design I created in 2017. I love to use it in festivals in uh, shows, in parade, or anywhere and anytime I want to give a pleasure to people because it's very mesmerizing and it gives the audience a lot of fun. And if you're interested in learning more in this Dragon Staff and um, all my creations, you can visit my website. I will let a link in the description of this video. Thanks in advance. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for your support, folks. It really fuels me to create more content, more tutorials, more videos. Don't hesitate to let me know what you would like to see in this channel. And um, until next time, keep it spinning and have fun. Ciao.